What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the dopest ROM of the Redmi Note 5 Pro and in my opinion this is like the most amazing ROM just because this has all the features from all the ROMs like mostly that I use. So this is totally my personal opinion guys and the reasons why it's dope. Let me start it from here. Well. If you swipe up from the left side of the home screen, you get the Google Now cards and this is the quick step launcher by default present over here on this ROM and of course this is the Siberia OS by the shade, you can see it from the title and you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get the notification panel. So this feature is not present over in most ROMs so that's one thing. Now let me go into the settings and from here things get more and more interesting. Let's go into gestures. Double tap gesture, you can see let's screen off, flashlight, google search. The screen off gesture is present in like all the ROMs mostly or like 80% of the ROMs but in those 80%, 60% of them does not simply work. Just the screen goes black but the screen like stays on but over here it actually turns off as you can see. So this is a pretty cool feature and the fingerprint scanner too over here is pretty fast as you just saw. And you can even change it to Google search. Let me just show you. It takes a couple of time, like a couple of minutes. And as you can see, it just gets you straight to the Google Now search. And now let me just quickly show you to the, like go into the settings again. And let's go flashlight. And now if I just like double tap on the home screen, as you can see, it turns on the flashlight. Double tapping again, turns off. Double tapping again, turns on. Pretty cool. Now these features is not present in like most of the ROMs. So that's why I am considering this ROM is one of the best and over here you get like a lot of more features over here that this feature the screen like the brightness control from the status bar feature as you can see it is present over here and as you can see the brightness is just too much right now if I just like lower it down and if I double tap to sleep when the like brightness control from the status bar is turned on and if I like touch on the fingerprint scanner and as you can see the brightness stays on like same position let me just turn on the top like turn off the torch and from here as you can see I'm double tapping on the status bar again and unlocking the phone with the fingerprint scanner and as you can see the brightness stays where it was it doesn't go like bonkers like the liquid remix ROM so that's how it is but on the liquid remix ROM if you double tap on the like status bar when the brightness control from the status bar is turned on the brightness just go bonkers whenever you unlock the phone and like lock it with the status bar double tap to sleep. So that's how it is and over here you get a lot of customizations too and by the way let me show you some more things before I show you the customizations over here and here Google Pay and stuff does work right away after you flash the ROM. You don't need to worry you don't need to do any kind of modifications in the like the Google Play services or something like that so you don't need to do anything Google Pay will be working just fine. Now let me talk about the stock camera over here. Well the stock camera over here is of course the Mi A2 camera and portrait mode and stuff, video and stuff does work super fine in this Mi UI or Mi A2 camera and over here we do have the camera to API by default like pre-enabled. So you can install any Pixel 3 camera or Google camera like however you want and as you can see it is working fine. I have installed the latest Google camera. I'll link it below like in the description. Check it out and just download the first one from that link. So as you can see I am using this camera and it is working super fine. So I don't have any complaints regarding the camera to API or normal MIUI camera. So both works. And now let me just hop into the customization settings and show you some more stuff. So here let's go first in the display settings. So night light and stuff is there. It just makes the screen like yellowish. And here we have the auto brightness. 
Here we do have this tap to wake or double tap to wake functionality. So that just works fine. And here we do have the font manager. You can choose from a lot of fonts like throughout the whole UI. So this is a pretty cool feature. You can choose from like Google Sans, quick custom fonts or these kind of like a hell lot of options are present over here, like have a quiz and stuff. So these options are pretty cool and I like it. And inside system UI theme, you have a lot of options like light, dark, black and Siberia style. So you can choose any of them if you want that. And you can change the accent colors too from here. As you can see, you have a lot of options in accent colors. So you can choose from any of them. And here we do get this like quick setting or quick toggle styles. If I choose it this one, let me just do that. It takes a bit of like a second or a minute. So as you can see here, we do have this like new kind of quick toggles panel. And in the quick toggles panel, you can add more stuff too, of course. You have a lot of options like screenshot, screen record, etc. options. So these are pretty cool. You can just like tap and hold on it to like just take a screenshot. So as you can see, everything is fine and everything is buttery smooth in this ROM. I do not have any kind of complaints regarding anything. I have to say this ROM is one of the most stable ROMs and with like working with a lot of customizations. Now, let me show you the sound settings. Here you get this also vibrate for call option like normal stuff. You can set the ringtone for SIM1, SIM2 separately. So these kind of features are there. And one good thing over here, like while taking screenshots in like most ROMs, it does make the sound even if your phone is like in the silent mode or even vibrate mode. The screenshot taking does make the noise or the notification sound of screenshot. Now over here in this ROM, you can just simply disable this screenshot sound from here. Well, of course, I like did mess it up like by tapping on it. So as you can see, the screen sound option is there and you can just disable it separately. So you don't need to worry about any kind of notification sounds. Pretty cool options. Now we have the touch vibration option, touch sounds option, charging sound, screen locking sound and dial pad tones. You can disable separately like each of them. So these are pretty cool options. Now let me just go straight into the system and over here, you do get this kind of like settings and inside gestures we have this swipe up home gesture and over here you do have this enable double tap to sleep mode too but if you want to use that you have to use this full screen gesture mode now let's go back let me go into about phone now from here we have the android version here it shows the siberia logo up top and android version is of course android 9 pi and here the Siberia version is version 2.1. The security patch is still of December 5th, 2018. But I think the next update will be the January 5th, 2019 security patch. But I don't know. So this is the 5th or 6th January 2019 build, I guess. Not really sure. And this is the kernel version. And I have to say the battery life over here in this ROM is amazing and insane at the same time. The battery life is like amazing and here as you can see i've got around one hour and 23 minutes of screen on time with 85 percent battery left so i in my opinion it like might last you a full working day without any issues and it will get you around seven to eight hours of screen on time depending on your usage as you can see it shows the battery temperature over here and it does work and it does differ from your usage of course and you can check the full battery usage from here i don't know why it's kind of broken but yeah Let's go back and inside Siberia OS, we have this system and stuff. And let me go into the system like general. Here you will get this screen of animation. And from here you get this CRT scale and default option. And you can change the recent style to Oreo if you want to from Pi. And swipe to take a screenshot is there. So three finger swipe works just fine. So inside animations, you can change the whole UI animation from here. You have this list view option animation and toast animation etc like whole ui animation is present over here so i don't need to explain i guess and inside buttons i mean these buttons we have the haptic on action disable keys option screen off power button torch is there and i have set it to long press power to toggle torch and inside power menu we do have this advanced reboot and stuff so if you hold the power like button you will get this like restart to recovery bootloader and soft reboot and stuff so these features are there Volume rocker wake is there, music control is there, so normal button stuff and we even have the privacy guard. I don't actually know what this does but yeah it is there. And standby apps is there if you want to like 
set any app to like being not active in standby you can do that from here and inside sound settings you can customize the volume steps how much steps this volume panels have and over here you do have this like panels option you can choose like multiple panels if you want to so if i press the volume down button it will show me the ring button or the ring and notification volume stuff and with the normal volume stuff so these options are there if you just want to the stock click thing you just disable everything from here so i have enabled the ring option because it, it's pretty useful for me so that's how it is let's go back and from here let's go into dialer so here you will get this pulse flash notification like incoming call so it will just turn on the torch or like just flash it whenever you receive a call so that is a pretty cool feature of MIUI and over here we have this vibrate on connect so in call vibration options is there and some home button answer and stuff not really useful for me let's go back inside panels we have the status bar and stuff let's go into status bar items so from here we will get this headset bluetooth etc like hotspot and stuff from here and of course we do have this vaulty icon over here in the status bar icon you can even enable the siberia logo but it stays enabled by default i just disabled it and by the way the vaulty logo looks like this i hope you can see it so the vaulty logo is there and it does look pretty cool and vaulty works fine even in the in call ui you have the like the recording call option and stuff so those features are there we have the notification ticker and clock settings are there you can change like the clock position and stuff from here so fully cl customizable clock of the status bar and of course we even have the brightness control over here of the status bar sliding that feature is there and double tap to sleep on the status bar of course there and network traffic it's over there of course and, and 4g icon instead of lte is there let's go back inside navigation bar we have this like normal navigation bar and you can change it you can change it to like smart nav bars you can change it to like the smart bar or fling option you can change the height of it as you can see we have the pixel like animation over here so it does this kind of animation as i think you can see it let me just try to focus it so as you can see it does do the pixel like animation now let's go into navigation gestures we have this navigation gestures like the normal gesture this is not the full screen gesture i guess let's go back we have notifications option and here you will get this like heads up and stuff you can disable heads up if you want to and quick pull down smart pull down etc stuff are there you can change the opacity of the notification panel and brightness slider brightness slider on bottom is there vibrate on touch and you can change even the quick toggles animation to like flip or rotate and animation duration too you can change it so a lot of customizations are present now inside lock screen we do have the lock screen customizations of course double tap to sleep is there on the lock screen fingerprint authentication vibration is there fingerprint error vibration is there lock screen charging info is there show on lock screen and stuff the weather stuff is there but it's not really working for me for some reason let me just show you so here is the lock screen as you can see it just shows kind of visible i tried to enable it but right now it's not working but earlier with previous updates it was working maybe i did something wrong so i'm not really blaming the rom over here so inside lock screen let me tell you one thing that the face auto unlock is there in this rom you don't need to worry at all it is present over here by default but i'll show you the option later on let me show you the battery like settings here you will get this battery charging light option and over here you do get this like battery light in do not desktop mode and other stuff battery icon style is there battery icon like you can change it to big dot circle and stuff if you want that you can change it to like the percentage to show up in the middle and those features are there and that's pretty much it for the customizations now let me show you the security settings so over here you do have all the options and here as you can see this is the option which says automatically unlock the device when face is recognized so this is the face auto unlock feature inside security and you do have this like this kind of options like hiding notifications in the lock screen let me just go back so let me enable the smart lock or like enter the face and let me show you how the face unlock works let's like set up trusted face next next so as you can see it unlocks almost like instantaneously whenever it detects the face so as you can see it unlocks with the face unlock option right away so you don't need to worry at all regarding the face unlock and i did show you the fingerprint scanner speed 
and it is pretty fast. So in my opinion this is by far one of the most amazing ROMs because it has almost everything that I need for my daily driving. It is like kind of a perfect ROM for me. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think. So if you are someone who thinks that this is like still one of the most dope ROM in January 2019, let me know in the comments down below and that's what I think that this is one of the most dope ROM of 2019 for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And let me open up like some of the apps and show you guys the app of ROM speeds and the animations and the RAM management as well. So as you can see the animations are super buttery fluid, you don't need to worry at all stuttery animations like about stuttery animations, over here everything is super fluid, you don't need to worry at all as you can see. As you can see everything is like super smooth. Let me open the apps from memory. So as you can see everything is super smooth you do not need to worry at all regarding the memory management so we can like switch between apps just like this over here we can switch between apps really quickly with the android pie kind of animation and here this like the recent panel over here does have these rounded corners in the recent like apps over here as you can see all of them does have the rounded corners over here so these are pretty cool feature in my opinion everything looks like pretty smooth and everything works in like pretty smooth way if you want to flash this rom check out the description you will find all the links important links for this rom and make sure you flash this rom with the micro g apps works best with that so that is pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now